Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a DIY project and as you can tell by the title we are going to be making this DIY Halloween cauldron. Now I originally got this idea from a TikTok that I saw and I am so sorry I do not know the name or have like a link to the original video that I saw so I apologize about that but I just want to make it known that this is not my idea. I did get it from someone else and I loved the video. I loved how it looked from the original creator and I definitely wanted to give it a try because I have this giant cauldron that I actually got for my sister but I, she gave it to me, I believe either last year or the year before, and I kind of just sat it on our dining room table and I didn't put anything in it because I just had no idea what to do with it. So I knew when I saw this TikTok, I had to do it. So I'm just gonna kind of be showing you the process of me putting it together. So if you wanna go ahead and see what the end result looks like, then just keep on watching. All right, so here are all of the supplies that we are going to need for our DIY project. Of course, we are going to need a Halloween cauldron. Any size you wanna use is totally up to you. It will work for any size and type of cauldron. We're also gonna need a hot glue gun. I'm sure you could use other types of glue, maybe even super glue. That's kind of up to you, um, but the original creator of this idea was just using a hot glue gun. So that's what we're gonna be using today. You are going to need some clear plastic ornaments. These ornaments I ended up just getting on Amazon. Also, that's totally gonna to be something up to you if you wanted to get different colors or if you can find like specific Halloween printed ornaments, you could definitely use those as well, but I just decided to go with a clear option so it would really represent bubbles. And then a couple other things I'm gonna be using are totally optional. I have some battery operated wired lights just to put throughout, and then I also have some fake cobwebs that I also got on Amazon, and the lights are from Amazon. And the fake spider web is just gonna act as some extra filler, maybe give it a little bit of like a smoky effect, things like that. So to get started, I am just going to start opening the ornaments, putting all of the balls together. This particular ornament pack that I got, I believe came with a count of 22 and it came in various sizes. And I absolutely love how it turned out in the end with all of the different sizes of bubbles. I feel like that just makes it look even more real. We are gonna move on to putting some filler items into the bottom of the cauldron. Now, in the original video that I saw, she actually went out and got one of those like styrofoam or foam balls that you can get at any craft store, Michaels, things like that. And she ended up putting that at the bottom of her cauldron. I didn't have one on hand and I didn't think it was necessary to go out and buy one. I had a bunch of leftover Amazon boxes that were on the smaller side and I thought those would work perfectly. Um, you really could use whatever you want. Another good thing about going with the cardboard box option is one, it's cheaper, you don't have to go out and spend money on something, and two, you're not gonna see it anyway, so that's not really gonna matter what kind of stand you have at the bottom of your cauldron. I decided to do this just because my cauldron is so big, and I knew if I didn't put some extra filler things at the bottom, I would have to buy so many packs of ornaments, and it would just take a lot longer gluing everything together and trying to fill up this entire cauldron, so. That's what I ended up doing. I also put a, another cardboard box and kind of DIY'd a little stand. Um, I also put that at the bottom and it pretty much goes all the way to the top of the cauldron and it basically is just acting as a stand for the battery operated lights. The battery pack just sits on that so it's very easy to access. I don't know if I necessarily show you guys in this video, but that's what I ended up doing as far as the lights. 
Um, so once we have all of those filler things, I ended up starting with the fake spider webs first and I ended up ripping it apart, not really trying to be very particular about it, but I just decided to line the entire cauldron around the rim um, as well as around the cardboard box just to hide it a little bit better. And then as you can see, I do have some packing tape in the background. This step is optional. I think the spider webs would have stayed even if I didn't tape it, but I did end up just using some packing tape, just rolled up a few pieces of it and just stuck the spider webs to the sides of the cauldron just to make sure it was extra secure and it wasn't gonna go anywhere. Now that is done, we can get to the fun part, which is gluing the ornaments in our cauldron. And however you want to order your ornaments or bubbles is totally up to you. I just decided to start with the bigger pieces first and slowly work my way up to the smaller pieces. Now while working on this, because my cauldron is so big, I didn't realize that the pack of ornaments that I got wasn't going to be enough. I ended up just getting one pack. Um, so I did kind of pause this project and I did order another pack from Amazon. So that took a few days to come to me, but for my particular cauldron, um, it definitely worked better having the two packs of ornaments or 44 ornaments in total. But yeah, you're just gonna take your ornaments, you're gonna hot glue them all together in whatever order that you like, whatever looks aesthetically pleasing to you. And you're just gonna keep doing that until you're all out of ornaments and until you have the desired look that you're going for. And before I get too far into gluing all the bubbles together, I decided to take a break and unwind our wired lights because I knew I wanted the lights to go throughout, not only like the outside rim, like around the spider webs, but I did kind of want to intertwine the lights within the bubbles. So that way the bubbles would also light up if that makes any sense. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just unwinding the lights and then I'm just winding them through the cauldron. And 
here are what the lights are looking like. I absolutely love how they look. Um, I decided to just go with like a warm white light color, but of course you could do any color of lights that you want. The next thing I'm gonna do to kind of finish off this project is I decided to tie some black ribbon around the outside just to add a little something to it. Ideally, I probably would have went out and bought like a bigger ribbon with like a lot of like cute Halloween prints on it. But just to save a little extra money, I did have this plain black ribbon on hand from a previous crafting project. So I decided to just use some of that and I really like it. It's very simple, but I feel like it definitely added a little something to this cauldron. And here is what the end result looks like. I am so happy with how it turned out. And it's definitely one of my favorite decorations in our house. So yeah, that is it for this DIY Halloween cauldron decoration. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if you have not seen my decorate with me video for this year, I did already upload that on my channel. So I will make sure to link that down in the description box. So please make sure to go ahead and check that out if you haven't already. And I am going to get going for now, but I hope you all are having a wonderful day. I want to wish you all a happy early Halloween and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.